chair. Also, the Quebec server is back, and I haven't had any issues since. So I still think it might have been like a server load issue. We're like, oops, I put the wrong there. There was a, like a server load issue where uh, I think because Quebec server was down, all the traffic in Canada was like spiking to Toronto server. Do so you know what I mean? So there's just too much shit going on. But uh, if you uh, like now that there was like the Quebec server back, you know what I mean? It's like that's like half of the shit being offloaded. There's only two servers in Canada. And kind of the US servers didn't seem to help either. Uh, oh, yeah, I had to go to the place here. I remember now. Pretty sure someone said you can get to the end of the tracks if you get this minecart. How do you make it move? But the ancient city of Gorindia is over there. What's Gorindia? Whoa, who are you? I'm not doing nothing. Well, if you're wondering, Gorindia is a legendary place where the Gorons of old used to live. I heard there's an amazing treasure stored there, too. They even had more advanced technology than we do now. I heard they used to ride in strange vehicles. I wanted to use the minecart to search for treasure, but I can't get it to budge. Anyway, you better not tell anyone any of my secrets, okay? I'm gonna tell them all my secrets. Well, if all Nightbot's always sassy. Bushido Blade. My dad's not like... I mean, my dad's becoming more of a gamer as he gets older. But he, uh... When I was younger, he used to fucking love Bushido Blade. Like, it'd be like the only game he would play. I always thought that was so interesting. I guess he's like a movie guy, so I guess it's very like cinematic, you know what I mean? The whole kind of approach of the game and the narrative structure of it and everything. Did I just rob this guy's minecart? Guys, it's my cart! How you want it to go there. We don't take it away. Huh? Uh... Try it out now. But oh, when did you fix it? How did you know I wanted to fix it? No matter, I'm safe. Okay, here we go. Wait a sec, guy. Heaven knows the car will move us on some tracks. You put on some track before I get on board. Put on them with a the cushion on it. When you put it in my hands, make sure you get the right one. I just not going down the tracks, much than it. Right out now. I'm good that I'm ready. <laughs> okay, here I come. <laughs> Want to go to the end of the minecart track? Can you be over there? I can feel it. Oh, dude, those games not like the classic fighting games for sure. Yeah, exactly. The whole one hit kill mechanic mixed with the. You basically get hit once you're fucked. Shit. Made it a very interesting game. I never played Bushido Blade 2, though. I knew about it, but I never got to play it. Well, I can see you, know, Boko. That must be I've made it to the other end of the track. Oh, by the way, you want to know a fun fact of this game? Apparently, uh, Anuma, you know, like the director, Zelda, producer guy. He used to be like a carpenter or someone like that growing up. Like, he was actually supposed to be this like master like carpenter guy or whatever. Maybe that's why there's so much carpentry shit in Zelda. But apparently, he actually was pissed off they had, like, the glue showing. You know, like, on the minecart, you know how it had, like, the glue, like, connected, like, the, the green glue? Like, he was actually pissed off. He's like, good carpentry shit. Like, you wouldn't have the glue showing. So, like, like, he actually didn't want it in the game. But then he's like, well, you at the end of the day, he, like, gave in. Because he was like, it, as a gameplay mechanic, like, it's easier to tell when it's connected or not. You know what I mean? So, like, that ultimately won over the realism. But he was actually pissed off about it. He's like, bro, you can't have the glue showing. That means, like, piece of shit. Made it down the tracks. All I can do now is look for Gorindia. I can't you're still here. That was a close one. He almost heard like, I'm looking for Gorindia. We probably want a reward, huh? That was a terrible reward. <laughs> you're going to turn the so much, but I'm really going to be rich. I'm rich, I'll hire you guys. Rag time. Yeah, that guy used rollout. Roll out. Do, do, do. Uh, what am I doing here? 
Right in the grounds of Gorn City, a rabbit city, like eating marbled rock roast. Oh, yeah. You know about a blonde woman seemed to be involved with this new rock. You know about the others right now headed for Yonoboko. That's a marble. Oh, yeah. So they're just like at the place. Probably up here. Are you the blonde woman? Oh, I don't believe we've met before. Are you a new worker here? Please tell me who you are. Oh, good. You have no idea how bad we're needed. We're dire. St oh, is this Mother 3? All the young Gorons are so obsessed with marbled rock rows, and they can't be bothered to swing a pickaxe. I hope Princess Yonobo will address the issue somehow. But in the meantime, we need other workers we can get. I think Princess Yonobo is at Yonobo Co. Storage in front of HQ. They get a deal for more Robert Rock Moves. Oh, you can buy from me? Okay, cool. But I don't want to. I'll tell all of us to go on guard to Yonobo Co. Storage. What do you got? You got the same shit? I already got this shit, bro. You know, Bo Coast, though. Hey, it's you again. The one who knows Princess Yonobo. Ah. It's talking about marble rock roast with the blonde lady right now. No one's allowed to come in. I don't really like that lady. But it's definitely the marble rock roast. Fault that everyone's been acting funny. Aww. Yeah. Princess Yonobo said you got the weird mask. He's been wearing for the lady, too. Aww. It was so nice. But as soon as he started wearing it, he got real mean. Aww. You're friends with President Yonobo, aren't you? You know, he created Yonobo Kill for mining. He was supposed to help people for people who needed ore and stuff, but now they're just making things fucking weird, bro. If you let me pass, if they let you pass, will you convince Princess Yonobo, Princess Yonobo to make Yonobo Code to stop making uh, I'll see what I can do, bro. Sierra, did you hear that? Sure did. Maybe you'll get President Yonobo to be himself again. Go right in. Do you think anyone could be like anything of any uh, anyone and then any... any Yo, imagine just swagging in like that. Like surfing in. Literally Zelda. Cut it already, Princess Yonobo. You need to take out that weird mask so you can go back to the president, you know, but we know and love. Oh. Here is that dick we love. Boys. Oh, it sounds like a queef. What is this? What does it sound like? B boys! Huh? Is that what it's showing her tits? Oh. Princess Soto is right! Marbled rock roast is good. It makes everyone high. I mean, happy. Oh, shit. Clearly not himself. What do you mean? Yeah, we gotta kick this guy's fucking ass. What do you got? Oh. Oh. Where's my useless ass to AIs? It's like a singular shot to his head. I guess he has to get stunned, right? You know Bo Hogan. Welcome up. Rivalis fail. He's already hurt. All right. Easy. It's like a Banjo Kazooie fight. Go. Uh -huh. Pretty sure we still have it. Oh. Yeah. What happened? Slurgo, Mothrak, I don't understand. Ooh. Everything's a blur since I put on the mask for Princess Zelda. I need to talk to her. Maybe she can tell me what the story is. Hey, where is she anyway? Why did, did no one say anything to her at any point? Uh, Princess Zelda! <laughs> Why do you have evil tits? Uh, 
Uh oh. Everyone's all right. Nothing's injured. You don't know this is how this deal. I mean, that'd be a spoiler. <laughs> What's that? I thought I heard something. Huh? What does it matter right now? Princess Zelda's just outside the cave. Oh, that blonde lady was Princess Zelda. Yeah, and I need to ask her about that mask and the and the marbled rock rose. And we gotta hurry and go talk to her. Oh. You're gonna break those red rocks is with my charge attack. But I can't see really see where I'm going when I charge. Link, be my eyes and guide me. When your Bozora is charged, you can aim in the direction. I'll say he totally just changed his, like, thing. Here I go. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of cool. You say, why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? Here I go. Let's go. Nice. That did the trick. Come on, boys, go with the Princess Zelda. Ba 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 ba. Huh? P Princess Zelda? Mm. I'm not not seeing her. Hmm? Huh. What's that red haze spot from Death Mountain? All I see is a shrine, my man. Oh. You don't remember President You Know Bell? You told us the red haze is dangerous and that we shouldn't go near it. Aww. Showed up on the same time that Hyrule Castle started floating and the upheaval happened. The ground was super wumbly, and you have and you were worried that Death Mountain might erupt again. So you want to check it out? Uh. Yeah. And when you came back from the mountain, you were wearing that mask. Oh. I remember now, Goro. I saw Princess Zelda at Death Mountain's crater. She talked to me and gave me that mask to wear. So I mean, Princess Zelda lives inside Death Mountain. Mm. Well, she's definitely not here. Maybe if we go up there, we'll find something. Oh. So let her go off, friend. I'm gonna go look for Princess Zelda. Can't be having you two along, but I'll sort this out. Ask her how to get everything back to normal. Ooh. I don't know why he's a kid now. So wait back for me, okay? <laughs> yep. Link, please come with me to Death Mountain. We look for the princess. Is he coming? Okay, I was like, is he coming? Roll out. Doom. Do do. This ain't a coward anymore. I've still been trying to figure out how many years it's been. I don't I don't, I don't want to know. Okay, in case it becomes a huge plot point of the game or something. But I'm gonna guess it's been like 20 years, maybe 10 years. It's definitely been like a decent amount of time has passed. I forgot we're in the fireplace. You know, we have to, you always have to do it once. It always has to happen once, you know? You know, it just has to happen once. Everyone has to make that mistake at least once. <laughs> That's, uh, that, that, that's, why I was, that's why I'm not even mad. It's one of those things you just have to do it once. You, you, no matter how many times you play a Zelda game or whatever, you just have to do it once and be like, yep. He has AirPods and he can't hear us. <laughs> yeah, I should have remembered that. <laughs> but that quote's gonna have good use. Does it break these rocks? Oh, that's so sick. I don't have to worry about bombs anymore. Like, it'll make, like, going to wells and shit a lot easier. Oh, that's sick. And it makes sense for a Goron. Uh... I can tell these guys are important, but I don't know why. Ah, every time. I thought that was another enemy. I got scared. I have seven of them, though. Like I said, once I beat the game, I'll be happy to learn about what things are and all that. Uh... 
Uh, guess that's it, huh? I remembered about a seven this time. I remembered about the AirPods. I didn't forget about Dre. What happened to me when I was using uh, I to show a friend of the Twitch thing got patched? I don't think it got patched from what I heard. I did hear about that like infinite item duping thing. From what I heard, the update didn't patch it. That's like the one thing I actually did hear. So it's kind of impossible to like not see like anything. And like I said, I've played some of the games, so I, I'm, like, I'm getting less paranoid about spoilers. Although I don't want what happened to Will to happen to me, so. Nah, the new one's way better. I'm gonna try to remember to take photos. I didn't do that in the first game, but that's because there wasn't a lot of variety. But there's a lot more shit in this game. So I feel more like inclined to do it. And how's we like learn the names of the enemies, like what they're trying to remake? We found a shrine in a shrine. 20 bomb flowers around here. That's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, that's a good point, Thanatos. I wonder if they still have that thing where you can like get the entries after you fought a guy, like in a trash can or whatever. Remember that 20 bomb flowers being played in the same spot exploding? Did the game like slow down? Like, I'm assuming you have a video of that. Or maybe it was just that moment of like, you just, everyone's laughing and forgets. You fucking, st I was gonna say, I'm like, it reminds me of Minecraft. I used to love doing that, like, make the island of TNT and then like, watch it fucking explode. And the whole game's like, like it takes that second to like, figure out what's happening. Now it used to be my favorite shit to do. I mean, I'd still do it. I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not sick of it yet. I'd still fucking make an island of TNT. That shit was sick. I love these new shrines. These, like, event tide shrines. It's such a better one, better way to do this than the fighting ones. And all the fighting ones have been tutorials. Like, it's just so much better. Well, you have 20. I don't think an average person's gonna use 20. Oh, are those bombs? Fuck this guy. Crazy motherfucker. Uh, where are they? Oh, they're up there. How many bombs are there? Oh, I see. Oh, this is cool. Did you tell they really thought about, like, how to use all their mechanics together? I mean, they, they definitely did in the first game, too, but... Just everything's so much more. What? What? Is this guy chucking rocks? Oh, you dick. Oh, you double dick! Oh! Bro, they got some good fucking weapons this time. Fuck, 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 fuck. Don't panic. Everyone's panicking. Don't panic. Don't panic. Yeah, they're, they're, you actually do have to think. And like, I like how pretty much every single one has had a different like gimmick. 
You know, sometimes you have to use, like, different devices. Sometimes you have to fight. Sometimes you have to, like, sneak around. Sometimes you have to... Like, like this one's more about bombs and moving back time. Which I didn't really see in the other ones. Some were about ascending. I think that's just what that all that extra time they were using was for this. You know, people are like, oh, polishing a game, all that stuff. And that's genuinely what they were doing. The part where you make the game and you go, is this actually fun? People always underestimate that part of game development. And you can't just like, write, you can't just like, get a piece of paper and write it down. One of those things that kind of just takes like, skill and time and effort and redoing and tweaking. Will knows about that one from his hack. Why don't you just have to reiterate over and over and over. And then eventually you're like, oh wait, this is actually kind of fun. And I'm sure there was stuff they still wanted to add they couldn't add. As with every video game, right? Never forget that Miyamoto considered OT like incomplete. Always makes you think. Cause, it's that, cause I sometimes I get scared cause then you get like the, the George Lucas stuff, right? Where he went back and fucked with his shit. And basically just made them worse. You know what I mean? So it always makes you wonder about that stuff. Or when games do get remade and the original developer comes in. Or you get something like uh, Other M. Where that li literally was made by the Super Metroid guy. Yeah, sometimes you just have to make a decision and then just like be like, is this like just see what people think? That's why playtesting is such a big thing, but obviously that's not always realistic to get people to playtest stuff, especially with no budget and stuff. But and sometimes you have to wait till release. Skill. What is still alive? Oh fuck. That guy could have murdered me so many times, I did not notice him. That's where you have a star powers. Fighting a monster man his way with 320 HP. Fun. It's a rare mini glass counter, but for so early, right? I would, like, if you're gonna do something like that, maybe have like a mess like a prompt, like, do you wanna fight him? It looks really tough. You do 100 damage per hit if he uses weakness, and it's like. I, I've been when I, I've been reading a lot about like RPG game design, like little, unironically about Chrono Trigger right now. And uh just talking about how like like 30% of the fights require tech usage like you know what i mean they're only weak to tech some of them only have like specific weaknesses like only lightning only shadow like another 30 percent there's very rare rarely enemies that are just like strong or just to be strong except for like in the black omen but that's like the end of the game where they just have more hp because it is the end of the game you believe the localization was the issue behind other m i could see that whole ass dude like a whole like a dude made of ass It's like a giant ass, dude. I am the ass, dude. Guts, man. <laughs> Banner. Guts, man's ass. Can't believe I survived that. Genuinely surprised myself with that one. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. These fucking magic ro rods that I have no idea what the fuck they do. Well, I guess I got rid of the porgy club. I'm assuming I attach it or maybe I just have to like try and throw it or something. I'll go for the shrine. I forgot we had a full thing, damn. Go cash that shit in.
Give me money when they do too. I like how there's like new mysteries. Oh, look at the salamanders. I didn't see that the first time. Oh, oh, kind of a, I like snuck in, right? Yeah. Uh, let's go. Oh, he's not going to follow me until I beat it. I was like, let's go break those rocks. Huh? Experiment with that magic rod. And the casual backhanding of the evidence cat makes things better. You're telling me that I've done 49 shrines and we're not even close. I have to make sure you want me to share what I find or no. Post it in the Discord, I guess. Yeah. I guess I should be consistent. You know what I mean? The graphics always look like a little shitty here. Like the anti-aliasing or something's off. Maybe it's so it doesn't stutter. But they really tried to make sure the game didn't stutter. This time. Because Breath of the Wild, especially when it launched, used to fucking stutter every like five seconds. I imagine it looks shitty here because it looks loads so much, right? Now, I wonder if that's how they get around the like Korok forest issue, so to speak. Like it scales the graphics. Or maybe it's designed for handheld. You know like Pokemon where it looks better in handheld mode because of the lower resolution? I wouldn't be surprised if it's one of those. Well, what, what about y'all? Do y'all play your Switch docked or in handheld? Or does it like depend on the game? Like, I usually play my Switch when I'm going to bed. Although I haven't really with Zelda because obviously like... But I like Majora's Mask. I fucking love Majora's Mask. Depends where you are. Huh. Link. Huh. What if you? Let's go find Princess Zelda. Yeah, no, I fucking love Majora's Mask. I've actually been doing a, like a co-op rando with a friend off stream. We kind of work on it every week or so. We actually have had the... We, we just finished it and it froze in Majora's Mask, which felt so appropriate for that seed. It was just the fucking meanest seed ever. Like, holy absolute fuck. Like, no transformation mass. So everything was locked behind some weird, like, grotto thing that you never heard. Like, there was a, a grotto by the racetrack where the Goron mask was, but the only get way to get that was with the hook shot. Which was, like, it was like one of those, but, like, everything was always locked behind some other arbitrary ass shit, which was, like, 50 miles away from everything else. You're like, bruh. Are some of Majora's species in this? Like, enemies and stuff. I would say this game kind of has a bit of a... I would say this is like the Majora's Mask to Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Or Breath of the Wild to Ocarina of Time. I mean, I would say, like, like likes are in this. Which were in Majora's Mask. I haven't seen the cat crap turtles yet, though. Cat crap. Oh, there is Gibdos! You're right, there is Gibdos. But uh, I, I always associate Gibdos with Majora's Mask. Because they're, they're not in a... Oh, they are in OT, but you only see them like once. I love how he's just running with his sword. Oh, damn, he's a beast. I want to see how much damage he did. Oh, do they have double health bars? Ah, uh, that's new. What kind of master mode shit is this? I know about the wild had Majora's Mask. You can... Oh, that's true. Yep, you're right. You're right. You're right. I had, I had Majora's Mask. You are correct. Listen, I, I haven't beat the game yet. So, I, I mean, obviously you don't know either, McGobble Gluck, which obviously, I, I, that's a badass name, by the way. Oh, that's gonna be somewhere in the game. Right? Or they're gonna save it for DLC again. That's the question. Ow. I should use a better weapon. Oh, 
It would be very Nintendo to sell the exact same items again. But you did say the DLC stuff was in the house, right? Like, the, not all the items, but like the picture from the first game was in the house if you hung it up. And you do get to keep your horses. And they mentioned how, like, the, the Hyrule tunic or whatever, the champion's tunic thing, is in the game still and being repaired. So I could see it being here. You have to wash your plate? Go wash that plate. Oh, yeah, you blend in. That's what it did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the DLC stuff was broken. The Phantom Ganon stuff had, like, amazing stealth. The, uh, Tingle outfit made you feel like a jackass. I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, we're just going up the old mountain road. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go there in style this time. We're going there in style. Up, 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 up. Also, we're doing free media share. So if you have a video you want to submit, exclamation SR, then post your YouTube link. Is that a shooting star? And you can uh, submit anything. It can be funny. It can be like video game facts. It could be a commercial. It could be like a funny clip from another stream. It could be coin pusher. Yeah, 408 arrows. I had a couple hundred and then there was like a thing I was in that used a lot of them. And then now I have none. I need to just, like, buy a shit ton. But I haven't, like, found a good spot really yet for that. Because like, you just kind of have to just jump around places. Why me again? Is this another attack? It's only an attack if you think it's an attack. And I don't think it's an attack. Therefore, I'm on a real pickle. I'll do all the way over there. Ozzy's in a pickle. Man, it doesn't even go that way. Gobble Gluck destroy of worlds. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something, like, that, that, that's an amazing phrase. Perfect. Alright. Pop, 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 pop. And we don't know what the rock and roll. Gonna burn up on the fear of my soul. Why does the word clean trigger you? Okay. Uh oh. This is gonna be some weird fucking racist joke or something, man. Wait, right, where's your where's your fucking friend? I was told to clean my room, and I was like, fuck you, Grandpa. Dude, your grandpa's just trying to take care of you, dude. And instill good habits. So that you won't be a degenerate piece of shit. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? You know how much easier your life is compared to your grandpa's life was? Like, full stop. I ain't gonna be around forever. Luckily, I always pretty much had a good relationship with my grandfather. I never really made him mad or anything. Or maybe I did when I was younger. I definitely was a shitty kid. When I was older, I was better at 
being a human being. Never had a grandpa. Damn. Oh, that's some real shit right there. I know, uh... One of my grandmothers died before I was born, or right after I was born or something. So I, I can definitely relate to stuff like that. I didn't really get to meet a lot of my, like, extended family in general. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Like, you can have someone who's related to you by blood, but then, like, they never, like... Actually, like, you never, like, see them, right? Pick up your sock. Well, think of it this way. If you do a little bit each day, then it won't have to be, like, a two-hour thing on a Saturday or Sunday. If you just, like, did, like, ten minutes on Monday, ten minutes on Tuesday, ten minutes on a Friday... Then you only have to do, like, 20 minutes or 30 minutes on a Sunday, as opposed to, like... Oh, well, there's my entire afternoon. Like, you don't have to do, like, all the laundry today and all the things. Like, you can definitely organize it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, pick up the stuff off the floor, put it in a pile. You know what I mean? Like, or in a bag or something, so you'll do it. Like, have the things ready. Or, like, bring it to the laundry room or whatever if you have that. Or I don't know what your place is like. You know what I mean? Sometimes you have to put stuff in a spot, you know what I mean? Um, maybe bring your dishes down. And then maybe you'll do your dishes, like, tonight. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, I'll bring them down today. And then, like, because that, that helps me a lot. Where I'll be like, I find if I try to pile everything at once. Sometimes that works. Depends how motivated I am. But if I try to do more of, like, a little bit. Like, yesterday, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm not going to focus on, like, my laundry. Because that's too much. I'll focus on the dishes. Because that, that's been overdue. Focus on groceries. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, I found that easier. It's almost like today we'll just be focused on, like, one or two like, major things or whatever. But it won't be, like, ignoring the other things. You'll still kind of, like, manage it or spend five minutes on it. But it won't be, like, the, the main thing. But if you're a kid, it's also, like, harder, I guess, sometimes. Your parents want you to do stuff. Sometimes it's just better to just do it. Not, like, in a bad way. Just in a... I don't know. Better <laughs> energy issue? Yeah, exactly. Because some people, like, thrive in filth. It doesn't seem to affect me too much. But it, it definitely can if it gets to a... Like, there's, like, a tipping point for me. If I have, like, stuff on my desk or figurines or whatever, like, a little bit of garbage, it's fine. But I'm not the type of person to leave, like, like, you know, like, it's been the same McDonald's bag for five days on my desk. Like, I'm not going to do that. Maybe in my garbage can or something, you know? But, like, not on, like, the actual desk itself. But, like, uh... No, I, that's a... That's, mental energy is a good way of putting it, dude. I don't think that's wrong. Well, my, motiv motivation requires mental energy, right? So I don't think it's... Why is my hair getting, like... Sorry. My hair's getting, like, stuck. I feel like not every day is the same. At least not... I, I mean, I have ADHD, so for me, it's like... When I feel that motivation to do something, I try to do it. Because I know, like, I might not feel that tomorrow. But that's more of, like, a personal thing for me than a... For everyone thing. That's why I tend to get hyper-focused on projects sometimes. You don't have the bag of Reese's Pieces on my cup that's been there for a week. I mean, it, I mean, if it's still full or whatever, then that's fine, you know? In fact, wouldn't that be better because you're moderating yourself? But if it's, like, a bit empty... And I'm, like, I'm not perfect. Don't think I'm sitting here like, and my place is thick and span. Why do you think I use a green screen? Bruh. No. I mean, you guys see my place. not that bad. But it's not, like, the cleanest place ever, either. How, how big can swords get in anime? I hope you're talking about swords and not penises. Man, I got so off track. Fuck. So... Does this even go the way I want? Yeah. Yes, in both cases. Yes, it's garbage. No, you just, oh, so you have like multiples. He's got like it's like those like little single ones, and you like eat one and throw down the wrapper. I've been there. Oh, you're responding to rabbit. I'm talking about the Reeses. My man's going ham on the Reeses. I mean, shit. I went to the Hershey store in New York and bought a shit ton of Reeses. They had like different styles. I still miss them. They were really good. Okay. 
What in a few days? Oh, you have way better resistance than me. Add the video. You want to have to shock that out in the sun? That scared the shit out of me. Cause I didn't press A. He just like decided. Yeah. I said, see ya! Wait, so I'm just back where I started? Oh no, I'm not. Hey, I'm trying to eat lunch here. Well, I very carefully choose Reese's Cuts because they make me sick if I eat too many. But I still like them, so I'm motivated to eat less of them. That's the most masochistic shit I've ever heard. But also, I kind of get it, because it's like... If it makes you sick, then you're not going to binge eat it. Touche. Interesting. I know my mom's like that with ice cream. Like, she's lactose intolerant. So she can't have a lot of ice hey, cream, you know? I'm trying to eat lunch here. You like candy corn? Ew. What the fuck's wrong with... I, I mean that in the most meanest way possible. What the fuck? Who the fuck likes candy corn? Hey, I'm trying to eat. No, lunch no, fuck here. your candy corn. No, no. No, I, I stand for none of this. Corn pusher does? You like candy okay, corn too? What kind of sick, twisted ass Berenstein world did I walk into? Candy from another country, I always moderate the shit to the point I gotta start worrying about expiration dates. The fact that you can even moderate it to that level is impressive. Mine's like, can I make it to the end of the week? So it's more of a, I try not to buy it because I know I'm just going to eat it kind of thing than, uh, than anything else. Is there really no fan? There's no fan. I only... Need a fan. Is there only a fan? Is there only fan? Pushing coin. What is wrong with you, dude? Just like so uh, get my fellow sweet stuff, then I can resist binging. Oh no, I told I totally get it. Well, so it's an interesting strategy of essentially purposely making yourself sick so you don't eat it more. No, like I said, it's, it's not, like I said, I've, I've seen it myself and like, I've seen my mom doing stuff. So it's I'm not like a, it's not that far-fetched. You don't need a little sprig onion, you know? Well, I don't think anyone really truly eats till they get sick. I assume you're not like a kid okay. from uh, Willy Wonka, you know? What will do, wh what will will do when he eats all the Reese? I do not know, he won't fit in the grease. He just goes spewing everywhere. I don't know if Luigi will care. Why'd you do it? Why did you do it? A cat eats till he gets sick and pukes. Then the cat eats the puke, right? Utka. More. It's anything, so I don't know. Isn't Willy Wonka like hella fucked up? You haven't watched in ages? Oh, yeah. Uh, whichever version. Doesn't matter which version you watch. The Gene Wilder, like OG one, or the uh, the Johnny Depp one. Both extremely fucked up. The book's also very fucked up. The newer one's more like the book than the older one. But I like the older one better, honestly. But the whole concept is basically he's looking for the least like selfish kid in the world. I want your rock. What are you doing? This is my lava rock crust. Get the special kid to grill it over the flame. Make the answer that crunchy and that chewy. And then I'm making the greatest food experience every year. No touching. Come on. What would you do if you didn't do that? Willy Wonka gonna go take a crap. What 
would you see if you drink all the pee? I hope that won't be for me. Will this thing fucking work? Doom, 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 doom. Okay. It's unnecessary, but I want to see if it works. Oompa loompa doompa dee doo. I'm a car and I don't need you. Uh, what what does this asshole want? We can live off ram ramen for a week. Hey man, hard times, man. Oh, it's so far, man. Yeah. No, no, fuck you, Korok. Oh, fuck you. Why is five items at a store 30 bucks? I'm in Canada, so I've never felt what you said more than anything else in my life. I've also been pretty fucked in regards to groceries, so I feel you on that. The Nightbot, you're not helping. Even in America. Everything's been inflated so fucking hard. It's like, how, I don't understand how anyone's affording anything ever at any point. Without just throwing it on a credit card or something. And even then it's like, same Netherlands. We all getting fucked. We're all getting bad. I'm like, who's affording this? I don't understand. Bulk's like five bucks. That was our old price, Will. <laughs> now you got now you got old Canada prices. You don't want to know what new Canada prices are. That would fuck everything. Yeah. Production lines never really recovered. That's true. As someone who just came back from downtown New York City, it was only one day was truly busy. You know what I mean? Which was pretty crazy to say. And I was there for a week. There was people there, but it was never like jam packed, except for one day. I thought it was really interesting. So when I was there when I was younger, it was like constantly dense. Even uh, banks and stuff were saying how like they've had to close down branches and. There's just, you know what I mean? Like, the whole economic world is kind of fucked. Before even talking about the recession stuff, which makes the food hikes even weirder to me. Because they're being like, oh, there's a recession. I'm going to just gonna increase the price, like $5. All right. Like, bruh. <laughs> Fucking eggs, I know. I poop, I see stamina pop above my head. Do you live in Australia by any chance? Do your spiders have life bars? Like you go outside. Do you actually live in Australia? I might explain a lot. You go outside and all you hear is this. Oh fuck. Hunt, hunter spider. Those crazy bat things. Fucking snakes. Fucking giant ass spider. Fucking Australia itself. Fucking kangaroo comes up, jacked as fuck. Bouncing around you. Bro, fuck that place. All I ever see is all those pictures, and it's always like, yeah, that's Australia. Like, why would you want to ever live in a place where spiders get that big? Although apparently the spiders hunt the other giant things. Do so you actually want the giant hunter spiders, huntsman spiders things? Because they actually are friendly and sh it's like, bro, fuck that. Nah, fuck that, dude. I don't usually get grossed out by bugs and shit too bad, but nah, fuck the giant, like, mosquitoes that are bigger than your body and shit. Fuck all that shit. Have medieval armor. <laughs> I'm just picturing you like, all right, all right, Grandpa, I'm gonna go, uh, gonna go to the store. Just dodge roll, dodge roll, dodge roll, dodge roll. 
Man, I'm just looking at some of the prices of a major Dutch store and kilo of yogurt is cheaper than a loaf of bread. Like, how does that even make sense? Obviously, it's the whole supply demand. You know, people need eggs more than yogurt, whatever shit. But it's still like... Bruh. You still have the AI cabinet. Some stuff hasn't really increased and other stuff is triple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything here is doubled at least. So things that were a dollar are now two dollars. Things that were four dollars are like eight dollars. Because some stuff only doubled a little bit. Well, there, there's this one uh, mango ice cream thing I get called Luigi's. It used to be two fifty. It always makes me laugh because it's called Luigi's. Like, hey, Luigi, I'm gonna make some ice cream. It's a pretty good, uh, Mario. You should try my ice cream. I don't know, Luigi. I don't know if I'm gonna eat your ice cream. Hey, uh, Mario, it's only a two fifty Canadian. That's like free in America. But they raised the price to three seventy nine now. It's like, bro, Luigi. The fuck. Well, it's also che uh, quite cheap at under 150 per liter. That is pretty cheap, damn. And 400 grams of cheese is like five over. Which makes, like, you can literally make your own cheese for cheaper. Although making cheese is not like an easy process, I guess. Come on, man, block. Just make your own fucking cheese. Just churn that butter and shit. You got this. Fuck you, Luigi. You get cash next month. Nice. I'm still trying to find some kind of like work at home style job. Of pretty much anything at this point, just to like supplement my income a bit. But ironically enough, I did get further with Rogers, you know, like the, my internet. And they made me do this like test where I had to like pretend to be a manager. I guess they wanted me for like a manager position. And I literally had to answer like fake messages from different employees. So it'd be like, hey, I'm Bob. Uh, a customer asked me for a, for a thing, like, what should I do? And then you like, you have to choose like literally like a Mass Effect style, like three answer thing. And like choose what you think is the best answer. And you, you have to do it for like 20 minutes. Like they basically are seeing like how fast you can do it, how many times you can do it. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Oh, oh that was you, okay. So like I said, sometimes Twitch unfollows people for literally no reason. So you might've just fallen victim to that. Or maybe you uh, unfollowed by accident. Like, if you're on mobile, sometimes the screen pops up and you click it by accident. Like, not on purpose, you know what I mean? Just touch screens are weird. Asparagus is also funny since it's in season now, so the price is like 6 euros per kilo. Well, mandarins are only 3. Ma mandarins are way more exotic too, right? Like, what? And maybe, maybe you like clicked it by accident or it popped down or something. Yeah, we have that where like... Like, like raspberries for $3 for me. They've been like five dollars lately, but like lettuce is still pretty cheap overall. Apples haven't really changed that much. Av avocados actually went down in price, which I thought was interesting. I'm like, huh? I'm a millennial, so I have to say avocado by law. I'm legally required. It's about six bucks. About same for me. Same for me. Like, like, like if you get like a whole bag of them, it'd be like five or six bucks. Come on, Terry. Like one avocado could be like a dollar to two dollars, depending. Bananas pretty much have stayed the same price as well. Although America had stupid cheap bananas, but like you can still get like a whole bundle for like a dollar fifty. You know what I mean? Toilet paper gotten cheaper. I don't think if it has for us. No, toilet paper and paper towel went up like dramatically. It's like $10 for like the shitty brand now kind of thing. Or like $7 for the shitty brand. 250 grams of raspberry here is like $4.50. Damn. Yeah, mine was on sale for three. So yeah, so we have about the same thing. But your dollar, I think is stronger than my dollar. So I'm getting a better deal. Maybe because it's made in Canada. The raspberries, I would imagine. They need economy cheaper here. We got mine for five. Star Fox, we need your help. Corneria is under attack. I'll be on my way, General. How's the G-Diffuser system doing? Who are you guys? 
We're Star Fox. Not oh, feel. Where's that explosion? I thought you were totally gonna do the explosion. I failed you. You will never defeat Andros. I just recently beat the 3DS version of the Star Fox 64. 3DS version is still so fucking good. It's got like GameCube quality graphics. You can motion control the ship. Fucking. Oh, it's so fucking good. But it doesn't work on emulator. So it's just like, bruh. So I can like never show it on stream. I already have it backed up and everything. Yes, media shares at 2.30. Yes, yes it is. Add your videos now. What, why, why are you bringing this? Why are you bringing up the Uwu girl? Step on the gas! Hit the brakes! I ended up failing that mission by uh, one gate, and I was so pissed off. That's such a- and I- and I missed the checkpoint too. So I had to redo the entire stage, and I was like, bruh. That's when I was waiting to get on the plane to come back to Canada. But I beat the entire game waiting in the airport for like an hour. I mean, it's not a very hard game. But the, like I, but I mentioned it before, the voice acting is not nearly as good. In uh, the 3DS version. You forgot the best part. My Emperor, I failed you. Or lock. Ba 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 like, it's like the craziest explosion in all of Star Fox. For like no reason. Ah. Ten euros per kilo. I can get it for like six or seven. Per pound. Like I said, we still do food and metric or, and metric or whatever for some reason. Or Imperial. Don't ask. <laughs> Where's the Goron fuck? Well, if that has a weapon, explains the mass detonations. That's true. What about all the innocent people Star Fox killed that day? They never talk about that, do they? Star Fox kills a lot of innocent people. Dude is ruthless as fuck. Oh, I'm too close, I see. I should look at the giant flashing dot on my map. Oh, did I just have to talk to him? Oh. Bruh, come on. near here when i came up the mountain i saw her the princess was standing right here goro and then she Ooh. gave me this fancy mask to wear around after that um oh jeez it's no use i can't remember anything that happened after that Dude. <laughs> Oh? Ooh. Hey, I was just there. She was not there. Princess! Princess Zelda! We need to talk to you! It's dangerous! Zelda gives no fuck!
Hear the music. Yo, is it like the three-headed dragon thing? More Agia. What the fuck? Huh. Whoa, that thing! It threw out the cradle like it was nothing! Is that marbled rock? Is, is it alive? So people have been eating... It's living? They've been eating the living thing? And then there's more of these things! Oh no, the three heads! Volvagia. We already had Volvagia though. It's so big, how could they have something that large appeared out of nowhere like that? Who said like this in Mount Nongoro? Don't take that thing out, who knows what will happen to Princess Zelda? But I can't really exactly charge at it from down here. Any ideas, Link? Oh boy, it's real big. Why does it feel like it wants me to fly? Will this work? Oh, so I should save. Okay. Apparently, no saving allowed. Here I go. Yo, we're doing a King Kong! King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. You damn dirty ape! You damn dirty Goro! Well, I mean, I'm on a very slow moving plane, Fox. Get this guy off me! Oh, Gridgies, I've been saved by Fox. That was cool. That was fuck. Not over yet. Also, I need to remember that design. That flying machine we have is sick. Ooh. Yeah, we're doing a King Kong style. We, we did it! We did it! What was that thing anyway? I thought Princess Zelda walked off somewhere around here. Huh? Whoa! That's she fell, she fell into that hole, do you? That would be awful! Come on, Link! Let's hurry down there! Goro! Yeah. Princess Zelda, don't you? Okay, I like that one. Oh, uh, I saw the game load. I saw that. Chasm? Chasm? Orgasm? We looking to a media share? Yeah! Whoa, what? Dude, this game's so sick. Did we go into Mario 64? We answered Dark Souls. Magmore Caverns? A little bit, yeah. That's cool. I like how they made one of the dungeons, like, underground. And you go, like, through the mountain to get to it. That's really... That's cool. I love how they didn't just do Breath of the Wild, too. Like, they actually, like, did new ideas. And all those people who just say it's DLC are just... I guess just never played the game. So I can't imagine playing this game and then just saying it's DLC. Like, what? Blah. Lethal Lava Land Volcano 2.0. Well, did you know? I actually found this out today. That Rainbow Ride was supposed to be Lethal Lava, Lava Land 2.0. Literally. Where is it? I just liked it. Here it is. So, like, the different assets are called, like, Fire Sky or some shit like that for the level. 
So it was actually supposed to be like a fire level. Which would make more sense because it's like Bowser's airship and then you go like to Bowser's castle. So it was probably like originally like the final level of Mario 64. And then they, yeah, no, I'm not even joking. This is literally was a thing today. Yeah, like revealed or whatever. So, and it, it would make more sense if it was a lava world. Because usually the last level in a Mario game is like a lava level, right? So maybe they just thought they were getting too repetitive. They had already had like two other lava levels before then. Or maybe they changed the concept last second. I don't know. Yeah, just chilling my pants. But from what people have said, Rainbow Ride was like the last level they worked on. Like every other level had stars and stuff placed. Except for Rainbow Ride, which didn't even exist till like January 1996. And the game came out in like May or June or some shit. Mm -hmm. Who knew it would be like this inside Death Mountain? Now that I look closer, I see a whole lot of these red rocks. That'd be back when Luigi was still in the game too. Why would Princess Zelda be down here with all the marbled rock roast? Huh. What? How come Mifa didn't say come? Mifa is the only one who didn't say come. What's, what's going on, Nintendo? Huh? huh? I've been hearing things again. But I mean, you've heard that too, right, Link? That she, uh, she, did, she was the only one who didn't say it. They definitely heard something speaking just now. Let's, let's see. I, I, think, I think it was coming from that away. Maybe this, maybe this has to do with Zelda. I've got a human pile of questions first. So let's hurry where Zelda is. Zelda, Zelda, Zelda. Link has a Nintendo Switch. Yep. That's how he sees the game. I like how they put the butt crack on this guy. Remember when Link was sniffing ass? Doop -a -doo -doo, that was the game. -a -doo 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 -doo. Must have been before they scrapped Luigi. Remember where I was meant to be like that? Yeah, Lu I believe Luigi was scrapped like three months before the game came out. So that would have been like March or something. Like he was scrapped like right at the end. But up, but but up, but the people think Mario 64 was more put together than it was. It was very much a case of fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs> Pretty much every video game's like that, honestly. But fuck, 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 fuck. It's broke. Fuck. We broke that. Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, so basically, Mario 64 was supposed to be two-player co-op the entire game. So Luigi was the second player. But they uh, couldn't get the camera to work. Surprise, surprise. So they just deleted him from the game. So I believe there, there just wasn't enough time to add him into anywhere else. Because I had to be ready for the launch of the N64. Okay. Almost. Stark Air would be completely submerged with magma. Basically, all this stuff is still operational, right? Even just like the heat. Don't you mean your sister graduates from high school tomorrow? Poe! Both Spirit Orb found all over the depths, offer these to a bargain or statue. Huh. Damn, I didn't know there was Pose. Oh, I know. I've seen the Poe guy. Where he's like, Pose. Pose. He says some shit like that. I remember. I know. He's in the, the lookout place. Stop spoiling game. Me? Kind of, you're spoiling the game for, for yourself. Catnip. I don't mean to alarm you. Supposed to be a two player, but they got rid of him, but of course they put Luigi in more 64 DS. Well, the DS one was more like adding extra shit to make it justified. And I get to make up for the god awful, terrible controls. This is for you, there's a statue somewhere.
It's supposed that there's a statue or something to trade it in. I don't think that's spoiling. I think that's good in game. That's like, like, like if an NPC or the game tells you the information and that's the only way to find out the information, that's not spoiling. That's like the intended way to know the information. Like I said, I've been reading about this. There's like ironic NPCs where like they'll purposely give you the hint, but they'll say it like in an ironic way, like, oh man, if only I had big bombs, I'd totally be able to break out of there. Which is like the exact thing you have. Like that's like literal game design. And usually like, like that's what Metroidvanias are all about, right? Where you like purposely put things in a path before you need it. So you like remember it. You're like, oh yeah, I saw a green door. What was that green door? Like that, that's like game design 101. And there's another Luigi I think about how the stash in the courtyard. L is real. Well, yeah, that that's just some bullshit. But yeah. Or do you mean like the game itself is spoiling it because of the description? But like, again, at some point, information has to be said to someone. And it didn't even say which thing they handed into. It said like someone will want it, basically. I already remembered because of the game being a good video game. And it like it signposted it already in a way. Where am I? Okay. Was that a moblin motherfucker? Ow! Oh, I forgot they do that thing where they like take your hearts or whatever. My first chasm. There's more than one chasm. I didn't even know there was more than one. Well, I mean, I know there's like the one, the main Hyrule thing or whatever. But like I've I've known about the whole like you do the light and the darkness and you like open the darkness. I know about that stuff. I didn't know there was more than one chasm. So. uh... Thanks for that one, Will. <laughs> There's more than one chasm. Interesting. Uh... I know those restore your hearts or whatever. Yeah, it's all part of the same chasm, right? Yeah. I've been down here. So I guess that's how they did it then. So it's like there's separate parts for each part that I have to do. But I guess you can all interconnect it, I guess. I don't know. Uh 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 we're going to places that spoil shit, like assholes. So I usually don't get spoiled on a lot of things, Mario fan. Or I f try to fuck with the algorithm to not show me the spoilers. Like what I did with YouTube. Like I literally try to hang out in communities where things are like... Put in threads or... You know, kind of like... There's a month before they start spoiling things, like stuff like that. So I actually usually do pretty good. Make sure to hit that follow button if you're enjoying the stream. Hell yeah. Okay. I have I have done a chasm before, like I said. I don't think it was last stream. 
Like the only one I ever did was like for the camera. But it's all part of this. I always thought it was all part of one big chasm. Bruh. But I don't think I did a chasm last time. I know I've done temples. Like I've done three of the temples so far. Woo. Rivali's hor horizontal gale is still pretty OP. What's going on, John? Fire temple. We've made it. We are here. Ha ha ha. We've done water. We've done earth. And we've done lightning. This is where I heard the voice coming from. Is it? Come. Come. If you're watching multiple streamers playing this in the best car when you get confused between things, right? Yeah, I haven't done much Chasm stuff yet. What is this place again? Why is it? I've purposely been avoiding the Chasm stuff because I've been wanting to do it later kind of thing. Why something like this in the Death Mountain? Oh. I mean, that, that happens. Not a big deal. Oh, it's Princess Zelda. She's like, girl, I gotta talk to you. Huh? What, what the, where did she go? Last time I did the, the tower with like the rain and all that stuff. You like put the board on above the thing and shoot the fire. We were doing like towers and stuff last time. I've done uh, all four of them. This will be the fourth one. But I, don't, I literally do not want to know if there's other areas beyond those four. But I've done like the top left, bottom left, bottom right. Now we're doing top right. Not bottom right, but you know, like the right-ish Zora. I see, I have all four dudes. Well, the, I'm going to get the fourth dude. You are, as they say, clueless. Huh? Something on the head, Goro. They've alluded to a fifth temple in the chasm. But I'm unsure if that's going to be like a real dungeon or if it's just going to be like... You know what I mean? Like, aha, there's like an enemy. So I'm excited to see what that is. I'm very curious. Link over here. Huh? It's Zelda, Goro. Goro? Oh god, not the rock monsters! Oh wait, never mind. What the fuck, Zelda? Meat fire explosion. Huh. You're doing the Rito Village uh, stuff? So you don't know either? That was the first one I did. Yeah. But I'm glad we're all kind of in the same boat. It'll be exciting to find out. Not good, not good. Princess Zelda's stuck inside there. We're gonna hurry and help her. Huh? How do we get in there, Goro? With this dick. Sir, sir? Have you considered this dick? Huh? Sir? <laughs> now that's a photo. The end. I mean, logically, surely the final boss would have its own one, like how Clan had, like, Cairo Castle. That's, I didn't even think about that. I don't mean, that's not like a spoiler or anything, but yeah, yeah, like. Because Hyrule Castle was like the big dungeon last time, you're right. So I wonder what the fuck, it's going to be sick this time, I'm sure. I doubt they're going to let you skip it this time, but maybe they will. I don't know. So that I like, like I said, I, I like the, have this mystery of the game, like not knowing. But I find, I always find this very exciting. Uh, oh, the uh. end. Right? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, oh, just go down the final chasm or something. 
I bet you, it's probably like, that's my okay. Like if I if I'm gonna like do a hypothetical guess, hypothetical, methodical, it's probably gonna be somewhere in the chasm, and it's probably gonna be like how this fire temple was a thing. I bet you, I I I bet you there'll be like a Ganon's chasm castle thing or whatever. But I wonder if it'll just warp you to the Hyrule Castle and it'll be the same one from before. Or if it's gonna warp you and then it's like... I don't know. Or maybe, like, getting there will be the mission. Because the game's doing a lot of that, where, like... Almost, like, getting there is harder than the actual, like, temple itself sometimes. But I still consider, like, the pre-mission part of the temple. You know what I mean? Hinox is a bitch. Oh, they are. I know I could have skipped it, but I had to register my horse at the stable, so... <laughs> The things you do for your horse, man. The things you do. Here, it's just stare, stare down our boy. I'm gonna, go to, I'm gonna take a piss. One sec. There his face. Now that's a man. Now that's, now that's a man. <laughs> ah! Bro, we don't talk about that horse. My horses hate me in these games. All right. We're gonna elaborate. Big words for a small man. Damn, catnip quote, chill. I'm assuming you got like the Zelda horse or Ganon horse or whatever. You don't have to answer. Goro. Or of? Goro? You only get two requests until your video plays. Then you can add more. <coughs> it's to prevent one person from just putting a million videos in. Did you see that? The game moved a little just now, Goro. Oh, I am. This is like one of my favorite Zeldas, hands down. There it is again. Come. Young little rock. Ew. The gate you must pass through is firmly locked with five padlocks. Of course it is. You have the power to unlock them all. <coughs> Do so. Then the gate should open. Oh, there's five floors. I just realized that. Oh shit. This is huge. Huh? No denying. I heard it loud and clear this time, but who could it be? What do they mean by young little I'm glad I'm glad you're surprised by that too. This has how to open the gate, so don't they can't be all bad. So I gotta just lock the five blocks we can get in there, right bro? But so yeah, my favorite thing so far, they added in all like the Zelda isms that were missing. You know, more enemies, more creative complicated situations and level design and puzzles and um they uh i actually like how bombs are more of a resource now instead of infinite 
Although they basically just gave me infinite bombs again with this guy. Um, I like how everything's just structured more in a more interesting way. There's more shit to do. The stuff that's in the game is more interesting than Breath of the Wild. Like, again, it feels more like a Zelda quest than just, like, an open world game with Zelda stuff. And I love Breath of the Wild, don't get me wrong. But this makes me be like, why would I ever play Breath of the Wild again? Uh, and I, I like how they made every weakness from Breath of the Wild into the strength of this game. Like, weapon degradation is now, like, something you look forward to because you want new weapons. You want to try new fusions and new combinations. So you don't really want to hang on to the same weapon all the time because of that. There are a few sounds now which felt like the fire temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they uh, did a good job with Koroks. Like, it seems to be less like filler ones overall. I mean, the carrying one is a filler one, clearly, but it's like more engaging than just picking up a rock. Like everything they kind of brought back, they like brought it. They made it a bit deeper, or they tried to like add more to it. Like they didn't just take the same thing and copy paste it. Like even the towns you revisit, there's new issues, new like I actually like how the world's like in disarray more in this game. Like you can actually tell there's like bad shit happening. Well in Breath of the Wild it's kinda just like I don't know man. Just go do what you want. I don't know. We're all chilling. Like doesn't feel like a threat in Breath of the Wild. This game I feel like oh fuck I do need to save everyone. It uh, just feels like a darker game, too. Not that that really matters to me. I'm not one of those people where, like, it has to be dark. But just, like, the plot and, like, Link losing his arm and shit. There's more, a bit more of a story Oink. emphasis, but it doesn't usurp Oink. the game's, like, open-world intention. Oink. Oink. So just everything, just every choice was just the right choice. And bringing back, like, more, Oink. uh... traditional-style temples. Let's see where this goes. Oh, it's a big... I see, I see. Although, I do hope there's still, like, Divine Beast-style thing somewhere, but... If those get removed for, like, something like this, I'm fine with that. This is very, uh, Oracle of Seasons. I'm a... I'm a... Oh, do we make our own, like, path here? Do we do, like, a... I've seen videos on Twitter of people messing with other characters using Ultra Hand. It's super funny. I gotta try that later. Gora? Motherfucker? Goro, motherfucker. Goro. Ultra hand. Oh, yeah. And like I said, I don't really want spoilers or anything. So I don't really want to know, like, any kind of, like, exact numbers or, like, any crazy combinations just yet. So I don't want to, I don't want to know how to break the game yet. I want to, like, play it like vanilla, you know? Not that I have to use the techniques, but it will suck if I- it sucks when you know it, you know what I mean? Cause it's like... If you like, just pretend you don't. It's like, eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah! No, I know what you mean. Just like, the- the general reception. I, they pretty- that's the only thing they really copied and pasted, really, was the Koroks. Like, not like, their locations, but the- the intention of them. So if you weren't a fan of them in Breath of the Wild, then, you know what I mean, then... You're probably not gonna be a fan of them here. Ah, I see. Yeah, as I say, they're better, but I still wish they kind of went with a new system, honestly. But it doesn't ruin the game or anything dramatic for me. Yeah, that's that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I I found that the the quests are at least a bit more engaging. I don't find myself just being like, oh, just picking up a rock. Oh, there we go again. It's like, oh, okay, there's like obviously like a Korok here. Not that it has to be obvious, but it just feels more like well intended.
Um. Oh, fuck. All right, we're doing it again, I guess. Here yourself with lightning. I'm really scared of using it in close spaces. I don't think he can. I've used it like all the time since I've had it. And I'm like, I don't remember ever getting hit by it and like I actually get killed or something. Come on, uh, Legsy Rhino. Media share will start in about an hour and a half. Remember to keep it TOS safe. Or my mods will let me know. Put up, put up, put up, put up, put up, put up. Usually, usually we can tell when it's a fucked up video because I'll instantly have a, my chat be like, bro, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? So the AI thing, I understand why they did it. But I, I'm still unsure if I think it's better or not. Like one of those things. So it was done to like obviously nerf. So I like how now he's like acting dumb for the sake of the puzzle. A little annoying. I gotta make the water thing. You just eat my boy. Come on. Come on. There you go. Oh God, not you. Oh? Damn, okay. Oh, not, uh... I'm wanting to keep the mirror shield, just in case. Fuck the spring shield. But up, but up, but up. Bro, I've been holding my integrity with glitches fairly well. I've only do bombs so far. It's the only thing I use glitches for, because I hate collecting bomb flowers. I mean, you're still cheating, but you're having fun. That's all that matters. The copium's real, but it's okay. I'm only cheating a little bit. To be fair, when we all used to play Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow back in the day, everyone used to fucking cheat. Everyone used to do Pokemon. Or uh, dupe rare candies. Or dupe everything. But up, but up, but up. But up, but up, but up. But up, but up. But like I said, I, I, I'm not against any of that shit either. For me, I just wanted to. I always like doing the first time vanilla. Just so my opinion's not flawed in any way. There is one game I would revisit, but I'd only revisit it if I had, uh... You gonna come, dipshit? There you go. No, this is a super necessary resource. So rare. Where's Ben Block? He BRB'd. This is the moment of get good. I mean, my man, I've gotten this far, and I have not had any issue with that. And you realize other stuff can blow up things too, right? Besides bombs. 
We gotta use like pots to blow up walls and rocks and shit. Like. Oh, the game I'd revisit would be uh, Castlevania Lord of Shadows. The Kojima one. I fucking hated that game so much until I put in the cheat code. Where ironically enough, if you put in the Konami code, like up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA start or whatever. If you put that into the game, you get like a little like 8-bit Richter guy in the corner. And basically you get like every single move in the game and you're just like god tier. And it actually makes the game like so sick. Instead of the fucking terrible ass game that it is. You basically get to play like New Game Plus off the bat. What is this thing? It looks like a gong. But I, I just, I, I hated that game. I hated the fucking Shadow of the Colossus boss fights. Hated like the enemies. Hated how the gameplay was. Let's read a burning, burning stove. How much needs water to be defeated? I don't think I've, what game did that? I feel like I've seen that. That must be the first padlock, Link. Oh, there are four more for us to find. That's a lot. Oh, now you're a little bitch again. No penis. All right. Put up, up, put up, up, put up, up, put up, 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 up. I like how they always prevent soft locks. Imagine we're gonna uh, Mixy Bisco Adventure. That's a deep cut. Is that like a Sega Master System one? Or Genesis? I don't know if I ever played Magical Adventure. Nice one. You mean, uh, uh, magical quest? Because there is another Mickey game called like Mickey's Adventure or some shit on SNES as well. So it's like, and okay, so for me, I, I think Magical Quest 2 and 3 are honestly way better. That's where I stand. I think one's kind of boring. But I still think it's it's still a pretty solid game. But two and three have co-op. And that makes it infinitely better. Hey, the two of the sus videos in the queue did not contain anything bad. Which when I checked the entire thing. Oh no. I don't see the user in the chat anymore either. Of course you don't. If the video's fucked up, feel free to just remove it. <laughs> if it's just like dumb shit, then whatever. I don't care. It helps it helps populate the queue. But it's, it's literally like, that's why I stopped doing viewer levels with Mario Maker. That's the exact reason. They dump their level, they leave, never come back. And then you're just like, all right. That's why I don't really focus on that kind of content as a, like a, as a focus, you know? Like I used to. It was just like too like heartbreaking to be like, all right, let's check out your level. Like no one's there. Or the opposite, you have like, a, I, a, by the by the end of my viewer level days, I was having like 20 viewer averages and shit. But like, God, I hated those levels. Not all of them. And the people's levels I like still come around yeah. to this day, so. I know there was like some drama this one time too. But this guy made this level for his girlfriend and I said it was like a bad level. So he like unfollowed, unsubbed, unfriended. You know what I mean? It was like. Like, I wasn't even allowed to give opinions on the levels. You know what I mean? It was, like, stuff like that. And then people used to get mad at me because I wouldn't give opinions and I'd like everything. And then, because I was just making everything worse. And then it was just, like... It got... It was getting so, like, unnecessarily complicated. I just hated all of it. Sure, that was uh, the one that... Yeah, if it's too... Or it gets too weird. Yeah, yeah just... Like if it's not even worth it, you're, you're, by now you kind of you you kind of you, you you know the gist. And if you if you ever have issues, just ask me or DM or whatever. Yeah, I got that by the way. What you said when I said it's just like when I do like not hard running in games, but I couldn't like get on to Final Fantasy or MMOs the longest time. I thought you couldn't get into Final Fantasy because you wanted to do timed attacks. I have too good of a memory sometimes. But no, I mean, that's part of the grinding stuff, I guess. You have to grind to get better. As opposed to being able to, like, do something about it. 
Did I, it's also like a, I think it's just a generational thing too. Like, I definitely, I definitely notice people my age and older, like, have no issues with, like, random encounters and more slower type games. I think a lot of that is just because, like, we grew up with that shit. Like, I didn't, like, we had no choice. You know what I mean? One minute I remember is basically one of those music vids that contain all the red flags of dick vid. Yeah, it's just like, eh. And you never know, the whole thing might just be a big dick or something, so fuck it. Sounds like uh, my eyes were just for comfortable in their negativity. This and just decided to be uplifted in unexpected ways. Yeah. It just kind of stops being fun. And then I, I tried doing it with level head. So I was gifted to me by a user. And I, I just didn't like the game itself. Ultimately. I just had too much issues with the physics and stuff. So, I ended up just getting like really mean and bitter about that as well. Even though, again, a lot of people like to watch and all that. I guess I should have grabbed the cart. So, I've learned just never do viewer stuff. No, I'm joking. I think the viewer game stuff is seems to be a good compromise. I'm doing more like multiplayer game type stuff. As opposed to like, although I am, I'm, to, I, I'm, I'm not against doing hacks and stuff, as people know, like viewer made hacks, stuff like that. Here I go. That scared the shit out of me. Gonna run out of juice right here. Oh. What's the point of this? That's my old cart. Oh yeah, it probably tells me where all the things are, right? It sure does. Yeah. This is actually a pretty hard temple, fuck. But even highlights on the floor too, that's cool. And like, uh, Modern Time Hits was a part of it. I remember that. This one, like, right there, huh? Which direction is it? Which of the floors am I? Oh, okay, I'm on two. Okay. <coughs> it's kind of like I looked in the past a little bit. Oracle Seasons Link to the Past. Reminds me of Turtle Rock. Why does that sound like Earthbound? I keep thinking I gotta level up in Earthbound. Here I go. Ba 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 ba. Bling. Bling. I was like, man, I haven't played Earthbound in so long. Like, we literally played it like a month ago. <laughs> like the entire game, pretty much. Da -ba -da -ba -da -da. So like super high up, huh? Okay, I'm just trying to get the layout here is really fucking with me. I know I'm going in a circle right now, I'm well aware of that. I'm just trying to like take in everything. Like get at my bearings a bit. That's where I started, right? Yeah, yeah, and then I hit that. Okay. It's starting to make more sense. And then I could ascend here. You did? Give me a sense of Shadow Down Redux. Don't you remember on the 420 marathon? We did the uh, Earthbound Randomizer PK Scramble. I'm not gonna lie, I really hate all the Redux and Maternal Bound rewrite. I hate all that shit. Does I have a store? Well, he has like a storefront. Oh, you had to play a life granting melody to even hire the mini bosses. You're like, see, you forgot too. It's like, oh yeah. Honestly, like, Earthbound's one of my favorite. Like, the whole Mother series is like favorite games of all time. So for me, it's like, 
I want that very specificness of it. And all the things that people say are bad about the game. Like, are the things that make the game the game. So I never understand the complaints sometimes. I don't know. But I'm like a very hardcore Purist Earthbound fan though. And I think the Japanese script is worse. It's less interesting. So when all these like rewrites to make it like the Japanese one just makes it less interesting overall. And that's being naked in magic can and the hospital sign having the cross. Like, I don't really care about that. That doesn't like change the game for me. But I think like adding a run button, that's goes against the nature of the game. Like trying to make things more convenient goes against the nature of the game. The whole idea is that it's supposed to be realistic. So like even this shit that's weird, like going to the ATM, taking up the money and all that. It's like it's supposed to replicate the annoyances of real life and like all that kind of shit. Or make fun of RPGs for like how annoying they are. So like you kind of lose the joke when you kind of like change it, you know? Like everything was very intentionally done a certain way. In all three games. But some people just look at it as like a, a gameplay experience. I just want to see if that would work. But I just added a run button and MSU I'm sorry, I gotta read descriptions. I'd be down to do another MSU one patch thing. I swear they do that retranslation shit where they make it more like the Japanese ones. I'm just not a fan. Of, I, I just like Earthbound as it is. And I like PK Scramble a lot. That's kind of, it almost feels like its own thing in a way. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 1's another prime example of localization making the game better. Reload! Then my repeats, Cats and Ghost Stories are a good example of excellent localization. I'd say Ace Attorney is. People get all fucking weird about the Japanifornia stuff, but I thought that was pretty ingenious. And they make it like canon, like they actually explain it more in the later games. Where essentially they, uh, after World War II, I believe, they uh, signed like a peace treaty as opposed to like bombing the shit out of Japan. So that's why there's more of a Japanese influence. Oh god! Oh, go! Black Betty Babylon! Task failed successfully? Oh, did you finally read all the changes? Yeah. I, I, so like I said, I, 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 the, the game I fell in love with is like the game that it is. It's kind of like Mega Man X. Like Maverick Hunter X. I don't like it all, honestly. Because I feel all the changes it makes, it makes changes for literally no reason. On the opposite end of the spectrum, Resident Evil 1 Remake is like one of the best remakes like ever made. Because every change it did was like... It, it still kept the campy vibe in a way, but it also still... Made it like a better, more interesting game, you know? Jeez. Fuck. Dude, if it isn't for Jeremy with Metagross, I don't think I would have reached cult status if it did. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Exactly. I was going to say, that that's how the story's been told. Yeah. Like, Kojima was pissed off that Metagross Solid 1 was, like, localized, basically. So he wanted it to be more pure to, like, his vision. So he fired the dude from Metagross Solid 1 because he changed too much shit. And that's why the later games are more, like, clunkier in a way. Well, 1 has more of that, like, America sounding like not in a bad way like i actually think it fits the game a lot better but that's why the first game is so different from the other ones and there was also a voice acting strike when that game was being made 
Which, that's why they have all the weird fake names. Which floor are we on? There. Why does it do the earthbound sound? Like, it actually trips me out. We have Maverick Hunter Rex. I do like the vile mode, though. Although I hate how it only has one song. But there is a patch to fix that now. Someone actually made one. But, uh, yeah, just changing the upgrades for no reason, the locations, and I don't know, man. If it had. Doesn't matter. I'll look into it once I get back to the base. Majora's Mask 3DS kind of exists in an interesting in between remake and not remake. And I, I actually like that version a lot. I like them. I wish they added more content, honestly. I guess I should try the other one. This part's very Donkey Kong Country. Okay. <coughs> Got some backups. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you go ask Eight Ball? Everybody forgot about Eight Ball. We'll actually answer your question. Man, I keep getting all these level ups. Man, where's the other one? Like, why, why don't all the pieces respawn? Man, I am looser. I am pretty loose today. Bro, that's some bull. Let's go! This game's so cool. Oh, the rockets be forever dead. Is Terry a loser? <laughs> like, fuck your unnecessary mean shit, dude. Uh Oh, it has like a chain. Oh, I see, I see. It's kind of, that's how it all works. I see, I see. Um What if I double fan? Like, like, what if I, like, become the best fan? <laughs> All right. All right. Will this work? Narnia? Narnia! Stay focused! When was the last time I saved? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, oh, fuck you, game. Yeah, at least the one's still unlocked. But up, but but up, but but up, but but up, but up, but up, but 
There's one like right here, huh? I see it. They always have like an easy one. And then I always end up like overthinking it. And then I always end up solving it at the end. Hmm. Also, don't forget to get your videos in chat. Free media. Sure. Remedia, sure. For sure. Media, sure. Uh. Cadnip, no. I go for like underneath. No, no, we do not. Put up, up, put up, up, put up, up, put up, 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 up. Um, probably heal my heart. That's fuck. Where is it? Um, ba 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 ba. Maybe I have to do it. I go on the brown from the very top. Yeah, then took her away. Now the children don't play. All right, what are we? Climbing up, 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 and up, 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 we got Maybe a car Good two for the boys Booba Booba Boo booba Booba Boo boo booba Whoops How is it not even? Elon? Come on. Elon? What the fuck, Elon? That's the best we're gonna get, probably. Booba 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 Boo 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 ba Booba Booba Yee doggy I'm gonna save cause yeah. Fuck this guy. Oh, I was using my best weapon, shit. That wasn't a good idea. Like, I haven't seen a lot of, uh, like, attack plus five and defense plus, like, I haven't seen a lot of that shit. I see it on my bows now. That's pretty that's pretty new. Oh, I see they're like hook. Where are we hooking, boys? Earthbound noises. Just 
curious if that did anything. Goro! Anyone ever tell you to Goro? Oh? Okay. The plates and arrows. I hear me about the fire. It almost has like the fire temple chanting's about to start. I kind of hear it. Right there. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. up. Lime Link. Getting a level up in Earthbound. Laura? Why'd you do it? Why did you do it? Oh, Kumba's here. The legend himself. The man with the iron coom. What's going on? Three to go. Let's hurry, Goro. Let's hurry, Goro. You heard the man. I'm excited for the X4 ROM hack. And randomizer. But ROM hack. Piece my interest very much so. And all the changes too, it sounds interesting how X4 is different. They're saying how the music's done by streaming off the CV as opposed to the MIDI stuff. It's interesting. So what does this help with? Is it just to help me get back up? If I fall? A shortcut cube. Do I need the cube for something? Do I need the cube? This. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Yeah, strike! Now that's what I call a sticky situation. The first balloon I've gotten, damn. Zero? Are you not gonna be a- are you gonna stop being a jackass? My man? Oh, you better be. Da 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 And I was not gonna do anything, I was just curious why I would want to do this. Why would I want the hook? Why would I want the cube? Why would I want... Oh, fuck me. That's okay. Uh, I already got the one here. Uh, fourth floor. Over there. Second floor. Oh, they're both in like, the same area. Okay. Then there's this mystery one here. Which I think we go from the top? Uh, where is it? That's that. This thing. 
I have to go in from the upper. Is that what they call a spicy meatball? Maybe. Potentially. Everybody was climbing. Climbing USA. Well, I need to grab this. I need to do this anyway. Let's do this. Nice little shortcut, though. Door on. There you are. There we go. Ah. The old train station fast travel. Everyone loves puzzles, right, chat? Right? Oh. I realize the issue. Oh, shit. That's why Kumba likes Pokemon Pearl. Because there's no puzzles in it. It all makes sense now. Now nah, there's a there's a few puzzles in it. Is that the one where you have to learn Braille? You don't have to, but Rock, 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 and roll, rock, rock. Rock, 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 and roll, go, run. Go, 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 but uh, go, go, So. Bad. Yeah. Link continued his journey. I should know it's not that song, it'd be the Actually that was an appropriate response. And it's gone. Like how it still shows it. I think I got really confused with that one. You know those shields that are like double shields? Oh! Get! Game! No! Ah, well. Fuck me, I guess. What was I supposed to hit? That? That do anything? Oh, I can lift it. Interesting. Oh. And so the cookie crumbles. I don't know what I'm doing. We grab the cart. 
We put it on the tracks, yes? You like the cart on the tracks? I like the cart on the track. Oh, oh, no. Uh, yes. Good fit, yes. We come on up. We poke it with the stick, yes. We Goro, yes. We crouch, yes. And now we take new path up. Into deeper temple. And we go even deeper into temple. And we must become stronger. Fuck that guy in particular. I'm just about to take a shit over there. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I had the biggest ADD moment right there. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I was gonna save and then grab someone to eat and then attack the enemy. And I kind of just like did all three at once and then nothing really happened there. <laughs> And the homie's really just gonna beat him up, huh? Ow! I love how they only attacked once I got my ass whooped. That was kind of funny. Like, oh, hell nah! We basically are rolling with the fucking crew. Knee deep with homies. Hey, why is that like a perfect photo? Literally the album cover right here. What would the what would the album cover name be? Ah, uh, game. Me and the homies. Kick it like every day, every day, every day. Me and the ho. Oh, yeah. Kick it like every day. When I'm alone in my room, got no one else to talk to. Bum 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 the boop. Boop boop bum go. Oh, I caught some friends. You know what I'ma go through after I smoke a joint. Oh yeah. Keep my temper low. This is like such a weird, random Nate Dog song. That like five people know, and the people I've shown in my life. So it always makes me laugh. Me and my homies kick it like every day. I, I, I'm trying to make it work, and it's not gonna work. Um, me and the homies. The song is a banger, though. I found it in a dollar store. It's a place called Giant Tiger. It was like a dollar CD. It was like Nate Dog G Funk Classics. He was like sitting in a chair with a glove. And I was like, like this guy's solo albums? Or solo songs? And he does. Shit ton of them. He did. I mean, he's dead now, but. Wait, can I do it like this? Oh, will this work? I'm curious. Oh, uh, game new. They knew. I wonder if they have some kind of like height requirement for that reason. After I smoke a joint, come on. Keep my temper low. I'm 
Lane, you want to stand up? What are you doing? That was weird. Uh huh. How come they never made another Banjo Kazooie game? Like, I understand after Nuts and Bolts, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, like, nowadays. Like, people lost their fucking minds over Smash Brothers. And Microsoft made amiibos and all sorts of shit. And I'm just like, yep. That'll do, pig. You think they would have, like,. I had some kind of game pass thing lined up. I don't know. Maybe there's some like NDA story on all this where shit went down. It seems weird they wouldn't capitalize on that success. All right, people are clearly interested. Maybe it'll be, maybe it's like Mega Man with Capcom. Where Capcom has said they never want to make new Mega Man stuff because they're always afraid they're going to fuck it up. Really, that's their excuse. They're always like, well, they're always the follow. They're always like, well, if we fuck it up, then we're going to get blamed, so... Oh no! What? Yo, that's the most brutal death ever. What the fuck? Damn! What the fuck? It's some real life shit, Chad. Don't let this happen to you. You get tired, you, make a, you try to go into a ceiling that it won't let you, you catch on fire, you start panicking, you fall, break your leg, hit your head, hit your head again, fall into lava. Fucking Darth Vader has a better chance of surviving than you do. Or simply Tom. Are you like casual Tom's like nephew? This death, though. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. I've gotten so used to typing on keyboards with a controller over the years. But I remember when it used to be a struggle. Classic, when did I save? Here we go. So if I'm going to get in, I don't know if it's getting in through the top. Maybe it was, maybe it is. Hmm. I forgot about that quote. Don't forget to get your streamers spray spayed or neutered. That's a good one. Aha! Ba 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 I wonder how you're supposed to do this. Beep, 
Beep, beep, beep, beep. I don't understand what you want from me. Beep, 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 beep. Pretty beep. Pretty beep. Pretty beep. Pretty beep. Let's head me back down. Uh, and this, woo. Can you like, like, does he blow it up or something? But no. Uh, this just takes us back down to here. Okay. I mean, it helps for that, so let's do that, I guess. Game. Actually, I guess I should just keep it on the ready. What do you mean? How many times is this going to take, Cousin Catnip? Huh? It's a hey, Cab. It's in many times. SpongeBob's just a hater. SpongeBob hater confirmed. Alright, you jackass. The better be cool. You better be cool, you jackass. Game. Here I go. What do you mean I made the best ramp of all time? Thank you. 
Okay. There we go. Where is he going? Hey, Goro, asshole. Here I go. Charge. So this is making them bounce. What do you mean? I can do it. There we go. Big, big puzzle solved. Big game. Let's go. Catnip's best. Big. Just two left, Link. Let's. Two left. Oh, it's on the downside. Music gets more intense. Point the beach, I'm just doing. Exactly. What's all the big chungus doing? Get game? Uh Wow. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Can I get still counted? Okay, I was like Game. Yeah. So it's like here, like on the inside. Yeah, the song gets good here. More than just the earthbound music now. That's a, that's proof that they're just being dicks with those candles. You can do it up close. Just, they're just being a dick there. Da, 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 da. So hmm. oh. Oh, oh. by the way, half an hour no free media share. You haven't got your video in. Get your video in. 
But, but. Can Cad have finished the dungeon before then? Maybe? Science point two. Maybe? Uh, I don't really understand how you would get into it from another angle. Here? Ah. See. Give me your fire hydrant game. Give me your fire hydrant game. Well, most of the puzzles in this dungeon have been make platform. What do you mean? Here I go. There you go. There we go. Stab him in the eye. Imagine dying to wind. Uh, I guess I'm good. Get over here, asshole. Why are you chilling with the ghost homies? Kick it like every day. Okay. One more. Thanks for the piss filter. Maybe like the best song in the game, damn. Kinda sounds like some of the, the fighting music. But kinda like its own thing, it's cool. So like, I can get back up to where I was. 
But like, why? Is it this one? This one? This one. So that minecart track, I guess, is my only... No, but we went there. And there still was no answer. Ba 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 ba. Do 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 do. Oops. Might as well just take another look. So it's this one. Yeah, that's the one we've been taking with the track before. Oh, there's a rock thing there, though. Ah, I didn't see you before. Okay, okay. Queen Gibdo might actually be the worst boss in this game. Who the fuck's Queen Gibdo? If we're gone, I feel so bad. Was it called Green Gibdo? Wasn't the desert boss the flying snake thing? I'm back in the same situation again. Hmm. You need a lot of arrows for that one, my man. We have like 400, so you should be good. It's only the first floor gong. It's just I can't figure out how to get into it. Oh, wait. There was that thing I saw. Where was it? That gets covered when I'm here. That's why I keep thinking I can't see it. Let me save. There it is. Do, do, do. Let me, won't, won't let me do this though, right? Boop, 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 boop. Huh? Only the Goron wasn't useless. Only he wasn't useless. Yeah, I'm a real gamer, and I'm not even drinking gamer subs. Look at that. I do have free samples of it. I still haven't tried it though. now about this oh especially if I fall off uh fuck me okay um
I like how you actually get a chance to really like hear the music building in this game. Because the Divine Beasts were so small that you didn't really get a chance to hear the music, you know? Do, 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 do. Oh, that was the path I opened. Game? Okay, I was about to call bullshit on that. I'm not even at the right tower, bruh. Bruh. Get up for a second. But... Strong sword. I right, fuck this thing. Uh... Um, yeah, I guess. Where is he? All right. It is time. Kick ass. That's all the locks, Link. The door should open now. Let's go see Goro. The so see Goro, Goro. Hey, Goro. Time to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I should heal. Oh, uh, what do I got? I made mean, any stamina stuff, damn. Uh, just go all out, I guess. Big League Chew. Is that like a bubble gun? Whoa. Someone's throwing out something. Open sesame! Open for me! Gonna smash those red rocks and rescue Zelda, bro! What if I told you? Bro, Mario fam, why would you think you got a new free request somehow? Did you already forget? <laughs> Here I go! 
That was cool. Where's Zelda? Good question. <gasps> That's really, really big. Oh, God. It's a volcanic vagina. Like a talus spider. Oh no! Is Zelda inside the monster? The rock Goomba? Goma? Yeah! I called it. Blake, we've got a saber, Goro. Let's fucking do it! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! All right. I don't like you, Marble Goomba. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I, I see that. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I know how to kick Talus' asses. Oh. Can I, like, fuck with it? No. No. Wait, can I go through it? Does that work? Oh! This game's so sick. Damn! The game said, nah. Too spicy for the pepper and D. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh, I probably have to break his legs. I just realized that. Yeah. Oh yeah, this thing is strong as hell. Watch out, Goro! Here I go. What? Oh, I caught shenanigans. I call shenanigans. Here I go. Let's okay. Skill issue. Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh. How was I gonna? How was I supposed to know they were gonna fucking explode with a thousand mile radius and have rock shrapnel? Who was expecting rock shrapnel? Look at this asshole just waiting for me. I can do it. Bullshit. I hit his leg. It's got armor I wonder what kind of speedrun strap they'll do for that shit. And now I know they explode, my man. Now's your chance. Damn, jump slashing is way more effective.
Watch out for what? Uh. Here I go. Oh, you dick. Where did he go? Get up there. Okay. Yes, this is Sauron, obviously. Okay. Kick his ass! Can I not force you to feed a sneak attack? Since the prompt had to cast plot protection on the. On the <laughs> so basically, Yoshi's Island is to blame. As long as it's not Yoshi's New Island. Fuck your bullshit. Goro. Like this boss is surprisingly easy, all things considered. Imagine getting wrecked that hard. Couldn't be me. Well, we can assume Crafter Worlds either in a different universe or timeline. Or just later on. But I assume the Yoshi Crafted games exist in like their own timeline, you know? Since they're literally made of wool and shit, you know? And there's no baby Mario. Okay. What is this game? And if you're on new grounds in the 2000s, you saw it like a million different times. That was like a very common flash video. Oh, this is dick. Oh, hey, asshole. Where is he? I can do it. Sure. There we go. That last hit was an asshole. No! Yo! Get fucked!
Goro, Goro, Goro. Goro, Goro, Goro. Goro, Goro, Goro. We got our Megmatana. Let's go. Megamatana. Megamatana. Heart container. Still not on the second row. Heart container. Oh. Is it a giant's penis? been talking to us this whole time, Goro? Yes, I am your ancestor from a time long past. Big mask. I served the first king of Hyrule as a mighty warrior and as a sage who, like you, could command fire. You fight using your body as a weapon. Impressive. You are my descendant, the pride of the Gorons. Defeated that monster, the source of those foul rocks. But it was the demon king who summoned it. Oh. He sent that monster to keep you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Secret stone? Demon king? It was the lore. So this is the first you've heard of any of this. Well, not me. And listen carefully to what I have to say. Let me tell you about the imprisoning war and the duty of our people. Uh. Many years ago, in the kingdom of Hyrule's earliest days. The great evil, the Demon King, sought to conquer the kingdom and kill everyone who resisted his rule. Raru, the first king of Hyrule, rose up to oppose him, along with... Is it just always the same story? Is it always the same part? And to fight the demon king, Raru trusted us with secret stones. Incredible artifacts that amplified our powers. I stood beside my fellow sages as the sage of fire, stronger than ever with my secret stone however we were no match for the demon king get wrecked even my strongest blows weren't enough to break him get wrecked Raru understood skill issue the demon king. in one last brave act our leader sacrificed himself to imprison that monster that was the imprisoning war. You get it now. And then sometime later. The Sage of Time, one of the six sages, came to Helen. Oh, okay. Her visit would set the Goron's duty in stone. I think I asked during those restraining parts. The demon king will be undone. You weren't there. Return. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. 
But Link will need help. Lend him your power. Your fire. The Goron's mastery of fire. In that moment, the duty of the Goron people was clear. I'd like nothing more than to smash the Demon King. I'm sure he would. I swear that when the Demon King returns, the Sage of Fire will awaken again. Damn right. The Goron Sage and the Goron people will fight alongside your swordsmen. <sighs> and that's what you need to know about the imprisoning war and of our people's duty. You saved Goron City, but the Demon King is still out there. You know, though, Little Rock, take up my secret stone and honor the pledge I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Fight alongside the swordsman. Link. I like how Terry went from not even knowing there was cutscenes in the game. To agreeing with you. <laughs> so it's my duty to help you fight. Hmm. Ripping some farts. And he wants me to inherit this? Really? Uh, I don't know if I'm nearly as great as my ancestor was. I stole a bitch. But then, if I don't help out, I'd be letting everyone else down. True that. There's no way I'll let that happen. I can do this. Yeah. Oh. The tears are alive. In this dick. Whoa. Your power is a lot cooler than you are. That is not wrong. Link, hold out your fist. Do it, chat. Hmm. Yeah. Hands just on fire. And take this. It's proof I stand with you. The ring. Interesting. It wasn't the middle finger, though. Hmm. With that ring, you'll be able to call on my power anytime, Goro. I promise I'll be strong enough to fight beside you, no matter what happens. Okay, let's head back. What's this? Arm is evolving? Your arm evolved into arm. You don't like how they're all the same cutscene? I think it's interesting, because at first I didn't like it, but it's sort of like that's the moment they all lost. So we're seeing it all from the different perspectives, right? Like what the Guru thought, what the Goron thought, what the Zora thought, what the... What was the other one? You know what I mean? The Rito. So you, you kind of get like their each perspective. You know what I mean? I wish it was a bit more meaningful though. Like, it's a cool idea, but I wish they sort of like went further with it. I like how the evil rock just is gone. And that's how you cure addiction, chat. Destroy the evil from within. Deep within your chasm. The metaphor. Are you saying Fozzie Bear is a Pac-Man because he says waka waka? When the drugs wear off. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Saba. It's like an exorcism, exactly. It's like Persona 5. I can hardly believe you're making me worry like that. I don't know. Please don't get me so mad at President Yonobo. It's okay, Serge. Sergo? Sergo? Slurgo? I'm the one who made such a mess of it after all. But I've just been such more... If I'm more careful. You said you put down Goron City back to normal and you did. You were the hero of Goron City. You were the one who made Yonobo kill and you still are now. Uh, 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 I, uh, thank you, Goro. And we have... To thank you too, Link. You got rid of the marbled rock roast and smiles are coming back to Guru City. I keep imagining what might have happened if I hadn't broken the mask and oh, I can't even think about it. Ooh. Princess Zelda wasn't angry we ruined the mask, was she? Well, actually, we weren't able to catch up with her. She fucking bailed, bro. Like Kingdom Hearts, you know? You ever play Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, you're, you're like five years old. You probably hate Kingdom Hearts. Exactly like that. She, like the third game. You go to each Disney World, nothing fucking happens. Yeah, exactly like that, kid. It all seemed like she was walking towards a giant monster by choice, and after that, we didn't see her again. Aww. President Yonobo, you think that maybe Princess Zelda is one of the bad guys? Huh? What do you mean? I mean, we've kind of been hitting that up. I feel like there's like two Zeldas, is my guess. Maybe the, or like one's like the one from the past, and one's like the current one. Maybe the giant monster was planning to be Zelda. Huh? No way! You know, kind of think of it, the person my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time. She said to help the swordsman Link, and now that I think about it, that was definitely Princess Zelda! I don't know why or how she was there in the past, but whatever the case is, that means the Princess Zelda we saw was an imposter! Which, I mean, makes sense. I asked my guys at Yonobo Code to search the area around the area for any leads to the princess. Girl with the Mohawk, I love it. Yo, there's some really good character designs. Even if you're not here with me, we'll still be connected, Link. You can count on me. We have all the sages, maybe? Question mark? These are uh, these are great and all, but let's not go digging up any more warrior rocks, bro. You know, no cocaine rocks, no crack rocks. You hear that, President Yonobu? No more Kingdom Hearts either. Oh. Hey, Link! You visited Rito Village, Zora's Domain, and Guru Town. You've gathered a lot of info by now. Why don't you go back and report it on Apura? She's just eagerly waiting for you. I guess that's unique for every one you finish at, huh? I guess whoever the character will say it. I guess. So they want me to go see Pura. I mean, I'm gonna save the game, obviously, but... So, seeing Pura is for this. There's... This is, like, the main thing. There's this depth thing, and there's a temple there, apparently. Which I assume... It says a special Zonai power, so I assume it's maybe, like, one of our arm powers. There's this whole Impa thing we were starting. That still was uh, important. So I feel like I should do these before continuing this. Not to mention just doing shrines and other shit that I still need to do. But yeah, I uh, I fucking love this game. It's so good. It's uh, a good video game. And let's show Memblox. I don't know if he was here. One of the funniest deaths ever. Everything was fine. You know, oh, no. Oh, oh he thought we were going to die there. We're not going to die yet. Just trying to go into the ceiling. You know, the one of the moves we have, right? Just waiting for the game, you know, let, let me through, you know. Oh, no, being a piece of shit. Oh, no, okay, you're not gonna let me through. Oh, no, mm-hmm. Classic just slip in the shower moment right here. Dead, not just dead. Hit the head. Flip, hit the head again. Flip into lava. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. <laughs>